Hello students. Today our discussion will be on the definition of revolution. So on the broader topic of defining revolutions, we will also examine some other conflicts such as riots and revolt or rebellion. What is a riot? A riot is a form of civil disorder. People's grievances are accumulated over a period of time. It can lead to a riot between the parties concerned. A riot is spontaneous. It can occur through a trigger in a spur of the moment. In a riot, a group of people attacks the other group, people or public institutions in a violent manner. Rioters' targets can include shops, car, restaurants, state-owned institutions, and religious buildings. Rioters sometimes tend to vandalize and destroy these public places such as shops and restaurants. So today our case study will be on the Cronulla riots that took place in Sydney, in Australia, in December 2005. So here the riots dates are given 4th December 2005, 11th December 2005 and then 12th December 2005. The Cronulla riot took place between two groups of people, the Anglo-Australians and the Lebanese-Australians, Australians of Lebanese heritage. The Lebanese-Australians in Sydney are mostly Australian-born. Their forefathers, their grandparents or their parents have mostly migrated from Lebanon. So the Lebanese Australians are mostly Australian born of Lebanese heritage. So the Lebanese Australians generally the young people they say that they are Australian born and they are as much an Australian as a white Australian or the mainstream Australian. Over the Cronulla riot issue, I interviewed some Muslims in Sydney, young people from 15 to 17 years. And some of my participants were Australian born of Lebanese backgrounds. So they shared some of their thoughts on the riots. They said that they are Australian born and they respect the Australian values, the values of tolerance, the values of a fair go, a value of mutual respect. And they also say that they believe in cultural coexistence. But the grievance they had was that the Anglo-Australians or the mainstream white Australians do not want them to go to the Cronulla Beach. So the question now arises of territory. 
the Anglo-Australians writers, they believed that the Cronulla beach belongs to them. They felt empowered by claiming the beach to themselves. So it's the Cronulla beach, it's for the white people. So the question of territorial claim and empowerment came up during the Cronulla riots. There is also some background to these tensions. In New South Wales, there have been some rhetoric or actions by some politicians for their electoral gain to get themselves elected in the upcoming elections they had their rhetoric or their comments on the Lebanese people in Sydney and it was quite some, some time ago that the politicians had some divisive rhetoric over the Australians of Lebanese heritage. So the issue of Cronulla Beach, it happened or it came to light in December 2005. But then again, there was the political rhetoric, the media's stereotype against the Lebanese Australians that was unhelpful for the Lebanese Australian citizens. So the othering of Lebanese Australians that they are into crime, that they don't respect the Australian values, it has come from some politicians, local politicians of New South Wales. So the tensions have been developing in the Sydney society, in, the, in Sydney, on this particular othering of Lebanese Australian in the society in general. So as we can see the tensions was developing for some time and then it took place in the form of territorial claim of the beach and finally it triggered into a riot. So on 4th December 2005, a fight between three Anglo-Australian surf lifesavers and a group of four Lebanese-Australian men occurred at the Karnala beach. The lifesavers had insulted their assailants with public taunts, Lebs can't swim. So Lebs is a derogatory word used by the Anglo-Australians on the Lebanese Australians. So it was reported that the conflict arose because Lebanese had come to the beach and verbally abused the local women and phrases such as, you are a slut, you Aussie slut, you should be raped. So as I said, the Lebanese Australians, young people whom I interviewed for my research on Muslim identity over the topic of the Cronulla riots, they were very emotional that they are treated as the other, 
they are not considered as an Australian, just like the white Australians. So they had some grievances that they shared with me. But then again, in a riot, there is always two parties involved. There's always two parties have or had issues for t some time. So it flared into a riot because there was conflict between the two parties. It looks like there has been issues between the two groups for some for some time and it erupted in violence and on top of that when some media commercial media print media or electronic media when they take side of the majority group in this case the anglo-australians against the lebanese australians then the conflict can go in a different direction because the media is taking side of the majority against the minority who were the Lebanese Australians. So during these conflicts, in riots or in the local conflicts, when the politicians or the media get involved and support the majority against the minority, the riots can take an ugly shape, it can inflame the tensions of the rioters and things can go worse. So on 11th December 2005, about 5,000 young Australians, they gathered on the Sydney Karnala beach. Many of them were draped in Australia Australian flags singing the Australian song and the Australian national anthem Walsing Matilda and the national anthem Advance Australia Fair and chanting kill the lebs no more lebs get lebs off the beach and so on subsequently the next day on 12th December 2005, a group of Lebanese Australians, they arrived in the location near the, at the Cronulla beach at the, near the, at Punchball Park with guns, baseball bats, knives, chains, and all sorts of violent equipments and launched a appraisal attack, smashing shops, cars, and threatening people who got in their way. And so this was the Karnala riot. This is how it started. So with this conflict, with the riot, normally, Issues and tensions develops between two groups of people. In this context, it was the Anglo-Australians and the Lebanese Australians, mostly young people. It was the conflict over the Cronulla beach. And the argument was who can use the beach, to whom it belongs, who owns this territory, who has the right to be on the beach? And the argument was the Anglo-Australians claimed it is their territory, while the Lebanese Australians said, we are as much Australians as you are, and the beach also belongs to us. So a right can be very locally generated, can be very violent, and can destroy the surrounding public places and attack the people during the time of riot. So this is 
about the Cronulla riot in brief. I will now go to the next slides on the Cronulla riot in another recording. Thank you.